Good afternoon. Um, so today, what's today? It's January 30th. We are having our baby shower, um, but obviously because of COVID and we live like pretty far away from most of our family anyway, uh, we decided to do a virtual shower and we weren't really going to do one, but like a lot of people asked if we were going to have a registry, mainly because we're having a girl this time. Um, so we decided to like come up with something and we kind of got some ideas off of Pinterest and things like that. So we are gonna get started in just a few minutes. We're just gonna do a live video. People have been like sending us gifts the last few weeks that we've just like um, kept and then my mom opened them all, opened all the packages and has wrapped them and then brought them so we could open them today. And so I'm super excited just to open all our presents and I thought this also would be a fun like half vlog, half like, hey, here's some tips um, on like throwing your own virtual shower if you are wanting to stay socially distanced and not throw any parties right now because of COVID. And I've already thought of like a list of things that I like wish we would have done differently so far. And so I will include that at the end. We'll do like a little sit down of saying like, kind of some do's and don'ts of having a virtual shower. We'll do a fun little like speed through of us like opening all our gifts. So here we go. getting all set up. My mom, like I said, she wrapped all the presents for us and Mac and I just built this dresser, that's her dresser. Um, and so we're just gonna sit here on our computer and open up all our presents. I'm so excited. Max clearing up <laughs> what our house really looks like, all the laundry and <laughs> toys. Well. I, I can just turn down the sound so we can see comments on my phone. Hmm? There we go. Okay, we couldn't see comments on the computer, so. That's why. <laughs> I say hi, mommy. Stuck. What? My mom wants to come say hi. Hi. Oh. Ah! <laughs> the world is falling. Oh my goodness! I want to see my belly. So big. We have like six weeks left. Seven weeks. I don't know. Something like that. Three to um, seven. Three to seven. Yeah. <laughs> we always have to like start at like one month since Nolan came. A month early. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so we're always on baby watch at like the last month or so, so three to seven weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so excited to open them. I didn't like, didn't realize how many there were until she like had wrapped them all and brought them here. And um, I, I thought there was only like four and I was like, <laughs> all right, but thank you very, very much. Yeah, so we're so excited. Uh, hi, Heather. Hi, Chara. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Alexis. Chara loves my hair. Thank you. <laughs> Not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked doing this. You know, even if 
like there wasn't COVID and all those things. Like it was just really nice to do this since we have so much family that's all over the place in Montana, Arizona, California, <laughs> all over. Um, and so this was just like a really special way that we could just be with you guys kind of and share this moment <laughs> with you. Yeah. Who do you think she'll look like? Well, Tanya, I'm just gonna assume it's you. Um, <laughs> We think, well, Josiah and TJ look most alike, and Nolan and Sawyer look most alike. So we're thinking it's sort of alternating, <laughs> and Josiah and TJ look more like me, and Nolan and Sawyer look more like Ken. So, so we're if thinking it the baby's keeps gonna that look. Way, then, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna look like Mac. <laughs> yeah, just less hairy, hopefully. <laughs> it's just I just can't can't imagine a baby not being a boy. <laughs> So that's the part that's hard for my brain because I'm like, all of our boys have just like looked so similar, especially like at birth, and then yeah. obviously have their own. TJ, why are you? I keep pushing him back because I thought he was a dog, but he can come in here. He Go on. To. TJ wants to say hello now too. You say hi. Say like hello. Kids are like half in say thanks. Hello, thanks. Okay. Which way does your hair go? No, that one. <laughs> I got two videos. Well, we're one recording it and then we're also Yeah, it's our family. So here's all the things we got. We like I said I did like a little speed through of us going through our presents. Um I'm not sure how great the angles were. Um but we got this cute little outfit. It's teether, um like a handmade quilt. Um, some tea for the hospital. Anyway, um, some nipple butter for the, so these things were like my hospital bag. These are, um, like a milk production drink. Breast milk bags, shampoo, bubble bath, um, this hatch machine, I'm so excited for it. I've heard like super great things. A little Sophie, um, some of these bags for her, um, for the room. We're probably gonna like hang them on some cute like hooks and put her bows in there some passies um a little gift basket of like some baby things my favorite uh baby book some diapers lots of like bedding and like um spit up rags and bibs from my mom's shop little unicorn booties diaper rash cream a sleeper some toys and a passy so there's a lot of things opened. And so I'm super excited, super thankful for our family that was able to like participate in just a bit. Mac and I will sit down and kind of talk about some like things that we really liked about this and things that we wish we would have done differently. So if you guys are doing a baby shower like this um, this year, that you can like learn from some of our mistakes um, and maybe do things a little bit different um, or take some ideas, take some ideas from things that we've had. But yeah, we're super excited, we're super thankful, and um, it'll be so fun to just like start putting stuff away, so. Hello. Hey. <laughs> okay, the day's over, we were about to like go to bed, and then I was like, oh no, Mac, I forgot I wanted to film this other part of the video. <laughs> so obviously since we didn't have like a big party, we didn't have like much to show of our baby shower, but I thought it would be fun to do like a little tip session. <laughs> <laughs> of just like talking about the things that we really liked about our shower and things that we wish we would have done differently and just like a few tips if you guys are having your own kind of pandemic virtual baby shower <laughs> do's and don'ts for the virtual baby shower <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so it was like your i don't know favorite part that you did like you didn't tell me you're gonna ask me questions <laughs> It was nice to see some people in the comments, I guess, that we haven't, like, don't talk to on a daily or weekly basis. Yeah, I kind of would just, like, add on to that because that was part of my favorite was, so we set up a Facebook event is what we did. And, um, you know, we said, okay, it was going to be January 30th at 3 p.m. And at 3 p.m. we were going to do our live opening our presents. And we ended up like adding in a few games kind of like earlier in the day slash the day before. And so people knew like we like at three we're gonna go live in our event to open our presents that people have been like sending us. 
Um, and so that was really cool, just like having all the people there, like people from my family and people from Max's family and just like friends and things like you said that we haven't seen or like talked to um, in a while that like wanted to support us and the baby. But it was just like really fun to see like them commenting and just like still, it still felt like people were like with us or like a part of yeah. the day. And so it still felt really special. It didn't feel as weird or like, I don't know, awkward, I guess, <laughs> as I had imagined. I told Mac, like, I was really hesitant to like do a virtual shower. One, because I'm most people who have like five babies probably aren't gonna have like a fifth baby shower. But since we we're having our first girl and a lot of people asked us, oh, are we having a registry and stuff? So we decided to do it. And I'm really glad we did, cause yeah, it didn't feel as awkward or weird as I thought it would. I just was like, oh, hey, we're going to go on live and you can watch us open presents, but make sure you send us <laughs> presents because then we won't have anything to do on the live. Like, I don't know. I just like... <laughs> I thought there was going to be like three or four presents and be like, well, yeah, thank you guys. And <laughs> I know. I was like imagining like, okay, well, so no one sends us anything. I guess I can just like show off all the things I've bought so far. <laughs> Uh, but we ended up having a lot of gifts and it was really it was really nice even if we didn't like it was just nice Like Max said to just like see all the different people there at the same time just like being excited for us um, And so that was really enjoyable. So one of the things that I would add as like a don't or I mean it do a different way that we did um, so what we did was, like I said, we created a Facebook event. Um, well, I made like an invitation on Canva and just posted it in our Facebook event, kind of to give people like the details and just have like a fun little graphic to go like with the event. And what I wish I would have done was sent that invitation as like a physical copy in the mail to like all of my friends and family that if we were all together, we would have normally sent an invitation to because some people I didn't know were like off of Facebook at the time or aren't really using their Facebook or didn't have one. <laughs> and so like a week or so ago, like one of my aunts was like, is Kimberly having a baby shower? Because I haven't heard anything about it, <laughs> I think, or, but someone just told me she is. So like, I was like, oh man, well, like I didn't even think about like, you know, there might've been like family members that would have wanted to send us a gift or a card or like even just to know that we were having one, even if they weren't gonna necessarily like hop on Facebook and I don't know, do like the event with us. And so, yeah, I wish I just would have sent like a regular invitation, just meant like, go to Facebook on January 30th for our event, you know? <laughs> so at least they knew it was happening, even if they couldn't, or if they didn't want to go on Facebook, then they didn't have to. But yeah, I, I really wish I would have sent out like a physical copy. <laughs> um, for me, one thing probably would have been to do, because pretty much we were just like, hey, thanks for joining us. And then we were like, okay, I guess let's get into it and just started opening presents. And yeah. then afterwards, then our kids started barging in and the dogs and everyone. And so it was just sort of got away from us. But mm -hmm. in the middle, uh, and also we were having technical difficulties because the comments weren't showing up on the, mm -hmm. on the laptop we were using, but they were showing up on our phones. So I wish that in the middle of it all that we would have done like another game, but like a game on live mm -hmm. to where we can, you know. Yeah, and people like commenting could answer and stuff. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, so another thing Mac and I were talking about like with the games. So kind of last minute, I, I like asked a friend if she would like help me kind of brainstorm and she ended up just like kind of taking over, which was amazing because then it was one less thing I had to do. Um, and she thought of these two really awesome games. Like one of them was kind of like a scavenger hunt thing. Like if you have stuff at home or in your purse or if you're walking around Target, but it was like my name was like the ac acronym. Was it? Mm -hmm. um, so like find a baby thing with each letter in my name. So, but what we did is people would have to like screenshot the the list that we sent them and then they would have to like fill it in on their own and then post it in the comments. Um, and a lot of people did it, but it was all like 20, 30 year olds, <laughs> like our age that probably knew how to do it, you know, like <laughs> then other family members, I realized, you know, like we have like older aunts and uncles and things that might not know how to even screenshot or like be a part of it. So like, I, I don't know, I wish I would have either like been like, oh, you can print this out or like, or you can just post in the comments. Um, so I just wish we would have like maybe 
thought of another way to make it more inclusive to people who weren't as like tech savvy, which I guess the whole event in general was probably well, and that's why one More. of your aunts didn't even know that we were doing it. I know, until like later. She's like, oh, I think I got the time wrong. Or, um, and so, yeah, I just wish... So that's another thing, I guess, is like a small con. Like, is just like be mindful of like the other people. Like, they really like baby showers. Because I feel like a lot of the older aunts and uncles really love baby showers. But then like, this might not be, I don't know, the best. I just said like, yeah, be mindful of like the older people. <laughs> Cause I was like, didn't think about that until afterward. Like, oh, we probably should have done this differently. Like the, with the games and maybe like the time to be more inclusive of the not so tech savvy people <laughs> in our friends and family. But that was one positive, you know, about the Facebook event. Cause we thought about like doing it on Zoom so we could like see people and they could talk to us and like it would be a little more interactive. But then like if we did, since we did it in the Facebook group, it saved the video like in the event. And so like, like Max said, like one of my aunts that like kind of showed up late and like didn't really understand the time thing, I think, um, was able to like go and like watch it and still like comment throughout the video, like as if she was there. And so yeah. I think that part was a little bit of a positive, but definitely with the games, figure out how to do that is probably a little difficult for her for some people. <laughs> we just wanted to share our favorite parts and things that we thought were really helpful and things we would have done differently. Um, because I think it's definitely, if you're like on the fence about having a baby shower because of COVID and all that, or if you're away from family, um, I definitely encourage you doing it and just like making it fit you and your family because like I said I was super hesitant about it I thought it was gonna be really weird and it ended up just not being weird at all and it was still like just as special as if we had people with us so uh, make sure you're able to see the comments <laughs> yeah so that way it's more conversational and not just like mm -hmm. look I got this present this is the present <laughs> yeah next I got this present this is open this is the present yeah um, so that way we could talk with them more mm -hmm. and you know make it more conversational yeah we had it on my phone so we could see the comments but even then after after it was over i was like oh we kind of missed that question or like someone mentioned something about this and we didn't say anything better way for us to like see the comments because like like max said that that was the part that made it special was being able to like converse kind of and like include them and their feedback and their comments into like the day and the video and stuff that and sending like a physical invitation are probably like top two <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed our video we are probably going to do our dog a oh no all the dogs are oh, fine. see this um, is what happens <laughs> we are probably going to do um a baby girl clothing haul coming up soon um but yeah we are super <laughs> Our, our French YouTube is so noisy. Um, <laughs> Abby, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm okay. gonna make them disappear. So Ready? We are I'm gonna going make them to... disappear right now. See? <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we hope that you can take like bits and pieces of what we did for our baby shower and make it into your own special day. <laughs> So we only have like three, two, two and a half to six and a half, four weeks left <laughs> until our baby comes. I'm like 40 something days away from my induction date. So it's very soon and we're hoping to have a few more videos out before baby is here. Um, I don't even know how that video will look if we're going to do like a birth vlog or anything, but thanks for following along and <laughs> coming to our virtual baby shower. <laughs> <laughs>